Let's go to Pennsylvania. Jane, ask me a Hi, question. Susie. Hi, Jane. I am 42. I own my own home. I have a son in college, and I'm about to get married. Um, the question is how to merge these households. The groom is carrying in some debt. I have very little or no debt, and the plan is to move into his home. I have equity in my home, and I'm wondering if it makes sense to draw a home equity loan in order to pay off the credit card debt. So you have, you have a whole lot household. going out there. So first of all, I have about all, ten thousand things going. <laughs> ten thousand things going. Well, let me just tell you something. One thing that you need to know, and you are never going to forget. Do you hear me? You are not to. You are not to. You are never to. Do what? Take a home equity line of credit, which is a secured debt, to pay off unsecured debt, which is credit card debt. Are you kidding me? If you want to sell your home, take the money that you get for selling your home and pay down your debt, that's fine. But I have a question for you. Do you have I'm a listening. right? Do you have a prenuptial agreement? No. We're, you, we're not we're not in any financial issues that require such. See, I knew you were going to say that, but here's the thing. Prenups are not just for what you have, it's what you don't want to have. And what you don't want to have is you don't want to have, number one, arguments over, it was that your money, was that his money, before you came into this. He's coming in with a home, you're coming in with a home, you better make sure that it's your money, his money, and those two monies never, ever merge. So if you sell your house, now you have money in your name, you keep it just in your name, never put it in a joint account. But also a prenuptial agreement can keep you from acquiring debt that he may in acquire during this marriage in just his name. There's all kinds of reasons to have a prenuptial agreement. But if I were you and you have debt, you need some cash, I don't have a problem with you selling your home, but keeping the money in your name and paying down your debt.